Hi guys! Good morning! So for today's video, um, isi-share ko po sa inyo on how to process to get OEC sa POEE. Okay? So before ko i-discuss sa inyo of what are the process, bibigyan ko muna kayo ng hint kung bakit mas uh, mabuti or mas advantage yung meron kang OEC that you, uh, your purpose is going to work. Okay? Pag nanabas tayo, then uh, magtuturis lang is that very risky sa immigration. Okay? Pag lumabas ka with your OEC, okay, you are considered as OFW. Maraming uh, advantage na uh, naidudulot yung pagiging OFW natin dito sa uh, labas. Kasi pag uuwi tayo at ayaw na natin magiging, uh, maging OFW, Uh, meron silang mga uh, program na makakatulong pa sa'yo. And then, um, when it happens na may mga problema sa work, sa, yeah, regarding sa work mo, so, pwede kang magreklamo. Meron kang mapupuntahan. Unlike, kung pupunta ka ng, uh, or lalabas ka with tourists lang, okay, good for you if makalusot ka. Pero pagdating mo dito, okay, ipaprocess mo din yung mga papers mo, pero wala kang mga umaga, wala kang mga benefit na makukuha sa ating um, government pagdating ng panahon. So, mas maganda na meron talaga tayong um, OEC. So, let's start. So, how to get OEC? Okay, noon pumupunta talaga yung mga um, nag-a-apply sa office. Okay? So, but today, pupunta pa rin, pero lahat ng requirements, lahat ng mga documents is online. Uh, online na muna yung kanilang uh, pag-review or kung titingnan nila yung mga requirements mo. So, what are the requirements? So, first, kina kailangan mo ng passport. Okay? So, passport uh, with validity Uh, or validity period of not less than one year. Okay? So, first, passport. Okay? Kailangan valid siya. And you are going to prepare your working visa. Okay? So, in my case, okay, wala muna akong visa kasi um, yung na-provide ng employer sa akin is visa upon arrival. And that is a very, um, para sa akin, mas maganda yon As I compare, um, when I meet some other teachers na uh, is going to work here also, um, sila yung kumuha ng kanilang working visa in which um, bumayad sila ng about 12,000 because that is, Uh, multiple entry kasi yon Pero sa akin, it's a visa pan arrival. So, I just pay. It's around uh, $25. $25 USD. Dito na siya sa immigration doon sa airport. Kailangan mo lang mag-prepare doon ng um, form. May fill up pan ka. And then, you're going to put your um, passport passport picture. yon So, and then, um, your employment contract. So, kailangan pag mag, uh, pag mag apply ka as direct hired sa, or kailangan pag kukuha ka ng OEC, okay, it is direct hired ha, sa skilled ito. Hindi po ito sa mga uh, household. It is skilled. Okay? So, kailangan meron ka munang um, employment contract. So, the employment contract must be authenticated, okay? So, huwag niyong gayahin yung sa akin. Kailangan mag-request kayo sa employer niyo. You need to uh, explain further. Sasabihin niyo sa kanila na um, kailangan meron siyang stamp or it is authenticated by the Philippine Embassy dito sa Vietnam. Okay? Kasi hindi nag-authenticate ng contract yung Vietnam Embassy sa Philippines. So, kailangan talaga. So, ang ginawa ko noon, yung, meron silang in-email sa akin, and then, um, nag, 
gumawa ako ng tatlong kopya. And, nag, ano ako, pumirma. And then, pinadala ko na naman siya through uh, DHL. Okay? And, um, mabuti na lang at madali din naman siyang na-process. So, yun. So, first, okay, passport, your valid working visa, or your, your visa upon arrival, employment contract, and then the company profile. So, yung company profile, you can search that one kung yung company mo or your school, the center that you're going to work, um, just uh, gagawa ka lang. Okay? Let's say, gagawa ka sa Word, you're going to copy-paste their links about um, kung paano uh, nag-work out yung center or, your, your, or the school. Okay. And after that, meron um, polo endorsement letter. So, exempted tayo dito. In Vietnam, wala pong polo endorsement. Okay. And additional uh, country-specific requirements. So, in this part, in additional specific requirements, pwede ka dito mag-upload ng iyong resume and your... Yeah, yun lang yung na-upload ko dito. Uh, resume lang or some other um, certificates na pwede mo siyang i-upload. Okay? And additional documents to support job application. So, dito, pwede mong i-upload yung mga authenticated copy mo. Yung CAV, yung NBI, mga police clearance, ganon. So, notarized statement on how the worker secure his or her employment. Okay, so, um, bibigyan ko din kayo dito ng link on how to make this one. Uh, or pwede din kayong gumawa ng, uh, kayo lang, just research. Okay, uh, this is just a letter, pero kailangan mo siyang ipanotarize stating kung paano mo siya nakuha yung trabaho. Let's say, for example, you're just recommended or uh, through application online, just like that. Okay, and... Next is the employer's passport. Kailangan mong mag-request doon sa employer mo ng kanyang um, passport or any ID, okay? And uh, or any details doon sa iyong employer. Okay? And the last one, this is only for phase 1. Okay? Notarized statement of authenticity of your diploma, um certificate of employment and other sub, uh, sub certificate submitted. Okay, dito mo i-post i yung or i-upload yung mga notarized statement, your uh, the authenticity of diploma, TUR. Okay, dito mo siya i-upload. So, that is only for phase 1. So, those are the requirements na kailangan mong i-upload. But before that, okay, uh, you're going to look first sa website. Okay, kailangan mong mag-register. Okay, bago nito, kailangan mo mag-register. Look for e-online registration. That is DW, uh, DMW. And then, mag-fill up ka lang lahat ng mga information na needed. And after that, you're going to sign by your email and your make, make your password. And try to upload all of this. Okay? My tip is, uh, pag hindi pa kompleto lahat ng requirements mo, such as wala ka pang visa, you don't have any contract, um, authenticated contract, okay? So, kailangan kumpletuhin mo muna para pag-upload mo, isang bagsakan na upload lang. Kasi, mas madaling magre-reply or magre-response yung um, evaluator mo pag uh, na-upload mo siya lahat. Okay, after your evaluation, you need to wait for 2 to 3 days kung ano naman yung error response ng iyong evaluator. Okay, you don't need to to, uh, to go to the POAE in that time, okay? Just um, upload all the documents, okay? So, okay, so I will upload also after that, your, I am going to upload the phase 2, okay? So, um, ipapakita ko dito yung mga... Pag matapos mo yung phase 1, meron pa tayong phase 2. Okay? So, kahit marami siyang process, pero magiging worth it ang lahat. Kasi, no hassle and it is not, um, wala ka ng kaba pag pumunta ka ng immigration. Okay? So, that's all and see you in my next vlog. Bye!